Today, you'll see what happens when a robot that was built in Oracle integration runs. This video is the second in a two-part series. To learn how to build the robot that we're going to run, click the video link in the description. We'll complete the following tasks, starting with designing the integration that calls a robot. First, add an integration. Create a schedule integration named GetPODetails. On the integration canvas, you tell the integration to call a robot by adding the robot flow action. We'll name the action call supplier bot. And it calls the get supplier name robot that we created in the previous video. A map action appears on the canvas. Edit the action to provide a value for the robot's input. We're going to hard code the value, but you could obtain it from another integration or other source. Validate the change, and then return to the canvas. Now we need to provide a business identifier for the integration. Open the business identifiers panel and drag the start time to the business identifier field. Then save. Let's log the output of the robot to the activity stream so that it's easy to find. Just add the logger action. The robot's output is the supplier name from the purchase order that the robot finds. Expand the sources tree until you find supplier name. And drag it to the logger field. Then save. The integration is now error-free and ready to run. Now that the integration is built, it's time to activate and run it. Now activate the integration. Its status changes to active. Next, run the integration. The integration also runs the robot. On the Configure and Run page, select Run. The activity stream opens and shows details about the integration. And since we're running the robot on our local computer, we get to watch the robot run. Let's see the robot in action now. The robot signs in to Oracle ERP Cloud. It selects the Procurement tab and then Purchase Orders. Then it clicks the Task button and Manage Orders, searches for a purchase order, and gets the supplier name, all without human intervention. The robot we just saw ran locally, but a robot doesn't always run on your computer. Let's ensure that everything ran as expected. When you run an integration, its activity stream opens and shows the integration's progress. Click the instance ID to see a graphical view of the integration. Here you can see the same activity stream plus the status of the integration. Wait until the status shows that the integration succeeded. Then expand the entry for invoking the robot. Next, select View Child Instance Details to view the activity stream for the robot. Here you can view the status of messages for the robot, including whether each robot action succeeded. Finally, let's take a quick tour of the monitoring pages. You can monitor your integration and robot together at any time on the Observe page. Start on the Instances tab to check the status of integration instances. Next, head to the Robots page and the Robot Instances tab to check the status of robot instances. Point to any robot instance and click the View Details icon to see its activity stream. The same activity stream that you saw before opens. Let's recap. We designed an integration that calls a robot. Then we activated and ran it and watched the robot run. We ensured that the integration and robot ran correctly and reviewed the monitoring options. Thank you for watching.